What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of do this ink kind of overlay onto your videos. It's really cool. You guys can use this on, on any of your projects. This video is sponsored by inkfootage.com, uh, just uh, an FYI, and I'll show you guys where to get the actual footage from. So if you guys go on to inkfootage.com, a link will be provided down in the description so you guys can have access to it quickly. And you guys can go ahead and get $20 off with the promo code KINGTUTSPRO. If you guys go to ink footage and you go down, it gives you pretty much ink. It's a uh, ink stock footage. So they have ink bleeds, ink blots, ink drips, and ink drops. So these are really, really cool. If we go down, you're gonna have a couple of like previews. You have ink drops, V1 footage, and it gives you a preview of the actual video. So if you go ahead and push play, it shows you the ink drop footage that contains 12 really cool ink drops. And they also have the ink drops version two footage. I have the whole entire package. I have everything so I can show you guys what they are. And there are different prices for different things. We have ink runs version two stock video. Then we have Ink Chamber V1 video. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use these in Final Cut Pro 10. All right guys, so hopping into Final Cut Pro 10, right here we have the footage that I applied it to. I believe this is the Ink Chamber. Yes, it is right here in the title, Ink Chamber number 13. So if you guys are looking through a specific number or a specific Ink Chamber or Ink uh, overlay, then you guys can go ahead and select that one that I'm using in this tutorial. But I have downloaded all of the effects here or all of the overlays. But anyways, that looks really, really cool. And you guys can do the same effect right here. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit. But let me go ahead and show you guys the different ink blots that they have. So they have small ones. They have they have different types of ink blots right here. You can also speed these up or slow them down. And we also have different inks. So we have ink blot and then we have the ink chamber. The ink chamber is honestly my favorite one just because it looks really it looks really cool. It's just pretty much ink being dropped in water but it looks like a smoke effect, which is awesome. Like, honestly, this is really cool. And um, we have ink chamber number two, and this one looks really dope as well. We have some that go really crazy like this. I would suggest to go something that has high contrast between white and black, so you guys can get a perfect luma key. So then we have the ink drop, which is honestly what it is. It's pretty much ink being dropped. That looks really nice, but it doesn't, I don't think I'd be using this very often but we have ink run and ink run is pretty much ink being just run across the screen right there and it looks really really cool like i said you can speed these up or you can slow them down let me go and show you guys how i did this so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to look for the ink chamber number 13 which is the one i used and it was this one right here you can see there's a lot of contrast between this one there's a black there's a lot of blacks and a lot of whites so i'm going to drag this right on top of my footage here which is a soldier let me go and disable this so you can see it it's just a soldier running across the field right here so select the ink footage that you selected go to the effects and go to the just type in key or here and then look up luma keyer drag that onto your ink footage and then from here you're going to have the ink chamber and you're pretty much good to go like you can adjust the values so it looks a little bit better so if we go into the inspector window and we have the Luma here, click the show icon. And here you have different stuff. I've already shown you guys how to do or how to use the Luma here in a lot of my other tutorials. So just go back to that or just go down in the description to look them up. But here you can adjust the values to change the value of it. So let's say we want more of the blacks to go away. All you got to do is I'm going to just reset this. So just drag this slider from the left side to the right side and it gets rid of a little bit of that. So now it looks a little bit more clear. Uh, however, you can see a little bit of the background, which can be a problem. So that you just kind of have to keep that in mind when you're adjusting these values. You also have invert, so you can invert it if you want. I wouldn't suggest doing that because you want most of the video to be in the black area instead of the white area. So go to the view, you guys can change the different types of views. Keep it on composite for now and we have the matte tools. If you click on the matte tools, we have the option of the, to fill the holes and I would not adjust this at all because I will just get rid of the black spot there. Levels are so you can adjust, you know, his outer figure. So you can adjust these if you want. So I would probably move this one to the left. So if I move it to the right, you can see more of the actual soldier. But if I move the midtones to the left, it will kind of get rid of that and make it a little bit more white or more saturated in a way. And if you drag the whites as well, that will also do the same thing. So now if I go ahead and push play, you can see that it's starting to come along a lot, lot nicer. 
Now you may occasionally get this right here where it's a little bit black and you can always adjust these right here, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want them, I don't want to make this video too long. So then we also have the shrink and expand. This you also want to go ahead and play around with. So like I said, if you move this to the left, a little more area will be filled in. So I'll just leave it at negative two. You can also soften the edges a little bit so it's not too rough like that. Maybe you want to maybe you want it a little bit softer, just drag it out a little bit more. But now if you go ahead and push play. This is what we should be getting in the end as our result for this ink kind of overlay. And it looks really cool in videos or transitions. And like I said, you're not limited to just this one. You have a whole bunch of, of ink drops that you guys can use. And yeah, so if you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like. The link will be down in the description for you guys to download or purchase, of course. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.